In this video, you will learn to use HTTP PUT and HTTP DELETE methods in Node.js. To start with, I have created a Node.js server and used this server to get the data for a single entity and update it accordingly. Let's explore list.json. Here, I have used JSON data structure to store three user data with name, password, profession, and ID. Let's explore showdetail.js file. Here, I have created an object express with the require method that takes on express server as the keyword. This express will return the server URL for the operations. Next, I have used express method to add another method to the response stream. Here, I have created app.get method to retrieve the content on the basis of ID and modulating it. Thus, ID is the required field parameter for any specific request. I have used 7876 port for the data connection. Firstly, I have used read file method of file stream to read the JSON array. Next, I have used json.parse method to parse the data to the user's type object. The user contains the object type list of all the users. Next, I have used users method of node.js and pass the ID to get the relevant details of the specific record. At last, I have stringified the JSON result and displayed it at the user end. Let's test this application. Open command prompt node.js client and enter node space showdetail.js. The server will start running in the background. Now enter the URL with the 7876 port number to the Google Chrome browser. Thus the complete list of the specific user will be rendered on the screen. Let's explore delete user.js. Here I have created one delete user method to delete specific entity. Let's try to understand this example. Here I have given the default ID to be deleted should be two. Next I have used app.get method and fetch the result using rate file method of file stream object. Here I have created one method delete user that takes on the default user ID as two and uses the delete df data function of node server to delete the specific object for the entity. At last, I have stingified the response and returned it to the user end. I have used 9090 port for the delete functionality. Please note that the corresponding functionalities will run only on the port specified with their JS files. Let's test the functionality now. Open Node.js prompt and enter node space delete user.js. Now enter the URL with port 9090 and enter slash delete user in the browser bar. As you can see, the record with the ID is equal to two is deleted. All the users will be rendered at the screen, omitting the user with ID2. Thus, we have learned all the REST type HTTP clients method, HTTP GET, HTTP POST, HTTP PUT, and HTTP DELETE used in the Node.js NPM server. So in this video, you have learned to use HTTP PUT and HTTP DELETE methods in Node.js.